in that popcorn. <laughs> ladies, I'm going to be real quick. I got a question for you, ladies. Why is it when you meet a guy for the first time and you ain't had nothing in a long time, you make it obvious that you want some. Now, not all women do this. It's just the ones that just ain't had their rocks caved in in about six months or so. So they talk up a good sex game. They talk it up. They get they get the man kind of curious, right? They talk it up. Man kind of shrugs them off. Then they just can't take it no more. They just say something that really get that man excited. And then the man, they take them to the hotel or the house or the motel, wherever y'all go. And then when the man drop his pants, one, two things happen. If it's too small, okay, you'll laugh at it on the inside. But you'll, you'll try it just because you want to get your rocks off. But if it's too big, you act like you don't want to do anything. You find a million excuses not to want to take the mom dongo. See, y'all be flirting with men all the motherfucking time. Then, you know, because man, dick don't move in his pants, you can't see how big it is. Right? Or, you know, in his shorts, whatever you got on. Y'all assume he ain't packing. See, y'all assume the guys that talk about their dick sizes all the time be the ones packing. Them be the ones that don't have enough. You ever heard that old term, solid but deadly? Solid but motherfucking deadly. See, that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with my wife. She didn't talk like all the other females about what she can and cannot do in the motherfucking bedroom. She, I, mean, I had to use my imagination to think about what she was going to do to me. When a woman talk about how good she would suck dick, ride dick, all that man half time, that bitch couldn't ride a horse. And it's easy to ride a horse. You know that motherfucker sit down the saddle? Get the lashes and keep, and, and keep it going. Control the head. Keep it going. Keep side. Man, keep it going. Some women can't even do that. Can't even do that. I'll ride you till the sun come up. Two minutes in, she tired of the motherfucker. I'll suck your dick better than grandma can, 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 can gum a strawberry. That's a horrible explanation, but I'm just kidding. No teeth, you ain't got to worry about the mother biting your dick. Just saying, that's all I'm saying. So, poor I'm John Maygill, when you talk a big game, be ready to bag up the game. See, I believe in that phrase, silent but deadly. Move silently throughout the night. Let the man fantasize. Don't give up all the good. And then when you realize that the dick is too big, you may try him one time, then all of a sudden you come with a scoop, it wasn't that good, I can't do it no more. No, he done fucked your insides up. See, man don't like being played, just like a woman. We don't like being played. If a man pull this shit out and it's 14 inches long, your mouth drop wide and wild eating coyote when he's trying to get the road runner, all right? Because the road runner got through one of his obstacle courses, all right? You left that man hanging with, 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 with dry dick, dry dick sound. All right? He might not be asked for head, but that coochie should be wet. Instead, you scared. You eat. You been talking all this shit for two months. This man want to give some dick now. Now you don't want it. That's why this picture right here is the perfect example of talking out your ass and having your ass write a check that your mouth or your ass or your vagina cannot cash. Those are facts. So I'm gonna give y'all ladies some advice. Next time a guy talking about how big his dick is, let it go in one ear and not the other. Some guys may not be lying though, but let it go in one ear and not the other. So you won't be set up for fucking failure. Now, if the man never say anything about his dick, it could be the exact opposite. He may not have enough dick. But a lot of times, the man that don't talk about his dick, he ain't talking about his sex life all the motherfucking time. He's he's one of those respectable types. We call them the freaks. Like the little quiet, innocent looking little females. We call them the freaks. See me? I don't say too much unless I just want to have somebody laugh and I, I'll 
say some shit. That's the reason why my wife and I have been married for 16 motherfucking years. It's the reason why I'm tattoos on my motherfucking chest. You guys have seen in some of my shirtless fucking videos. Well, pictures of me shirtless in videos. It's the reason why I'm tattoos right here. But I don't have to go out and say all that shit. My wife found out. That's why we still married. Sex is essential in relationships. Men can't fuck. Woman can't fuck. Relationship can last too motherfucking long. Men can't eat. Woman can't suck. Relationship ain't gonna last too long. Men don't at least want to lick some ass crap from time to time, and one maybe lick some balls from time to time. Ain't gonna last that long. You gotta, you gotta do some of that shit. Now I'm not saying that every couple need to do, but you need to do at least one or two of them things. You know, good old hand job, good old, good old finger job, from time to time go a long motherfucking way. You push so women learn how to jack a dick. Your dick so man fucking all the time. The woman needs some action. Learn how you get to this. Same with the woman mouth. Don't let the dick be the deal breaker is what I'm trying to say. Because if you got a big dick you're afraid of, then be skilled as well too. See, some of us guys get one dimensional. We don't want to learn how to finger and, and rub click and lick click. We don't want to learn all that. We don't want to learn how to take a vibrator and Sis tied the woman down there, get her all loosey, 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 and then at least put, put the head dick in. Well, I don't want to touch no vibrator. See, we, that's what we do. We set ourselves up for failure. Then a woman will come in and take your woman. Because a woman knows the body better than men because she's a woman. But if you learn a female anatomy, then you'll be called a bad motherfucker. A very really bad motherfucker. So the moral of the story is this. Dick ain't all, ladies. Busting the nut is busting the nut. Now, if you play with yourself and you bust a nut, that just take the edge off. But when another person help you bust a nut, it ain't gonna matter how you got that nut. If you eat your pussy till you come, or rub your clit till you come, or finger you till you come, you can't. If you put one of your vibrators in your, in, in your ass and his fingers in your pussy, and lick your pussy at the same time while you click by your finger puss, you can't. You're gonna get off. One way or no. If you don't want to try a big ass cock, then test this other areas until you are ready to try the dick. And if he's willing to do that, then he might be a keeper. He might be a keeper. But he might want something in return too. Because every man like they dicks up, they're lying, say they don't. But we do. You, you, you got to go out there and talk to that microphone at least once a month. At least once a month. We ain't asking much. Now, the man never going down on you, fuck him. Some real Marvin C shit, right? Some candy looking shit for the old, old. Fuck him. If he ain't going down on you, we that nigga going to have some dry dick. Fuck it. But if that man giving you everything you ask for in that bedroom, at least once a month, go down and get a man blow job. Maybe a little hand job won't hurt. I'm asking us, I'm, on behalf of brothers everywhere, they ain't getting it. See? Now, I ain't got that problem. But on behalf of the brothers that ain't getting it, I'm asking on behalf of them. Hey, do need to do that. Do that. If, if he can eat your pussy, you can suck his dick. It's an equal opportunity relationship there. If he ain't doing the fucking, I ain't doing it to him. Fair trade. I think, I think that's right. Now, the man ever asked for it, then hey. But man say, babe, I, I, man, you know, I, I, I do this to you, then you at least do it to me. You gonna know. You know why I do it immediately? Next time you want me to suck your pussy, you know, I tell you, go let the dog lick your pussy. <laughs> if you got a dog, or you, you better get one of them fake toys. They, they sell fake toys at the sex shop. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. My mouth closed business. I'm tired of getting locked jaw. I'm down for 20 minutes trying to eat. 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes. And I ain't getting my dick sucked. You want me to keep? Oh, man. More men do that, more women open their mouths up. Or they'll just go get a female. And some females don't eat pussy. So they might, they might get the one female that don't eat. But they have them big ass 14 inch pinky dildos, though. Be trying to carve your whole insides up. Give you a whole mammogram. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, that my advice. 
I hope it helps. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. Until next time, this has been your boy, your boy, man. I'm eating my popcorn. I'm my guys.